Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to The Drop. I'm to hear more. And I'm Precious Hall, filling in for Meg Scoop. And you remember Ja Rule, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Briefly, yeah. right? Kind of vaguely. vaguely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was beefing with 50 Cent more than 10 years ago, and it looks like the curse of the L is still upon him. This time, it affected a music festival. Now, Ja Rule was slated to host two weekends of Fire Festival, back to back. Boom, some crazy music festival, private island, private jets, catered, Everything is supposed to be amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That sounds good, except <laughs> Ja Rule hosting it. <laughs> now, the festival was supposed to start on the 28th. However, once guests started arriving like that Thursday before, they saw that it was a disaster. Literally, they had disaster tents set up for them. FEMA tents. Just white tents all over. There were no private charter jets. There was no catered cuisine. People got cheese and bread, okay? No VIP accommodation, just tents. I would have lost it. I, I can see me losing it. I can see me. Cheese bread? Say, stop playing with me. Now, if you saw that video, it looks nothing like what they advertised. I mean, the advertisement for this thing was amazing. And that's why it's so funny. It's like a period commercial. You know what I'm saying? Like you on your period wearing all white, swimming, riding motorcycles, and in real life, you're depressed, you bloated, you fat, you ugly, you mean, you a bitch. That's what that was. <laughs> the festival was supposed to have featured acts from Good Music Family, mm -hmm. Lil Yachty, hey. Ray Schwerin. Come on. Also, Blink-182 was supposed to be there. However, Blink-182 must have had the wherewithal of an old black lady because they issued a statement on Thursday on that Twitter. Regrettably, and after much careful and difficult consideration, we want to let you know that we won't be performing at the Fire Festival in the Bahamas this weekend and next weekend. We're not confident that we would have what we need to give you the quality of performances we always give our fans. What better way to put, <laughs> y'all niggas ain't got y'all shit together. That, that's, that's the perfect way to say it. Now, tickets for the festival range from $4.95 for a single day to up to $250,000 for some packages. The company has since issued a statement on their website basically saying, listen guys, due to unforeseen circumstances out of our control, the infrastructure of the island was not up to blah, 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 blah. We were having some technical difficulties yeah. with our, uh. <laughs> All of that. Listen, I just want a company to come out and be real, like, yo, <laughs> we fucked up. <laughs> we highly underestimated how many of y'all was gonna be fucking with this, and uh, <laughs> we just wasn't ready, guys. We wasn't ready. All right, guys, we want to hear from you. What festival have you gone to that turned out to be a disaster? Leave your comments below. For me, it was jury duty. I thought it was going to be popping. It was all ladies there. Shit was not cracking it off, man. <laughs> Before we get out of here, guys, you already know what time it is. It's the comment of the day. Comment, 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 comment of the day. Hey. Comment of the day refers to yesterday's video about Young Thug announcing he's releasing a singing album. Yep, that's happening. And it goes to Mo 590. Now listen, I'm not gonna read all of these tracks, but Mo actually committed to creating a track list of the album. A couple standouts are number one, men can wear dresses too. Uh, number six, real rappers wear female clothing. And number 13, Frank Ocean, please slide through my DM. <laughs> That's funny. And I'm a hard judge. <laughs> we see you, fam. As always, guys, remember to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. I'm to hear more. And I'm Precious How. We'll see you next week on, on the, the drop. drop. Ja Rule, though? Really? Stop it.